Ms. Rodriguez, what I read is a complaint that suggests that you and the defendant, who were friends and perhaps in a relationship for a brief period of time, had a falling out. And during the time that you were friends, whatever relationship that was, according to your complaint, you brought a television set that was yours to the defendant's house. Yes. When did you do that? Uh, that was in June of 2016. Excuse me. Is that right? No. When was it? It was June of 2015. That sound right? No. Okay. To what address did you take the television set? Uh, it, uh, to what address did you take the television set? You know the address. It would have been in the um, Powderhorn uh, community in Minneapolis. My tiny house. When did you move from there? It was August of 2015. Got it? Yes. yes. So it was 2015 that you brought the television set to her house? Correct. Better. And in what month and year did you ask her for the television back? I asked her back for the television in July of 2016. Why was that so difficult for you to tell me? Uh, just, it, it was a little bit of confusion with the... Well, that's no US. confusion. If you insisted that it was June of 2016 and you asked for it back a month later, well, that sounds to me as if it was perhaps alone for some reason, which we'll get into. If she had the television for over a year, it may suggest something else. Do you understand? So let's try sure. to give me answers that are truthful rather than those that create a story for you. Yes, ma'am. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Great. Now, in what month and year did you purchase this television set? The television set was purchased back in August of 2011. So now the television in August of 2000, July or August of 2016, would have been five plus years old. Correct. And tell me what kind of television this was. It was a Philips Eco 32 LED. And do you have a receipt for that television? Yes, ma'am. I'd like to take a look at it. Here's that. Um, and then that is the credit card statement in which I purchased the TV. No, I just want to see receipt for it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you purchased this, according to this receipt, for $389, and when you brought it over to her house, it was four years old? Uh, yes. Now, where were you living at the time? Uh, I was living at my parents. And where was this television? Uh, the television was at my home. When I was staying with them, I had purchased another TV, so it was an extra spare TV. And your parents had their own TVs? Yes. So this was one that you were not using? Right, it was... It was it one was, that you were not using. Correct. You upgraded. Now, I want you to tell me the circumstance, because now you want the TV back. I had a kerfuffle. I'm not interested in an awful lot here. This sure. is the main thing that creates this lawsuit. So, according to you, she asked to borrow it. Yes. Tell me the circumstances surrounding her asking to borrow the TV. The circumstances were that she could, be in the friend that she was, uh, I had... You're making up a story now because I can tell. No. That's my gift. Okay. That you, <laughs> all right. That's my gift. All right, 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 all right. She asked to borrow the TV, in which I agreed upon. Uh, when I asked for it back, though, I expected it to be returned. <laughs> Even you don't believe that. I said, what were the circumstances? You know I have friends, and sometimes if I go to their house, I'll bring a bottle of rosé, I'll bring a bunt cake, Mm -hmm. But I actually have never brought over a TV to someone's house. Now, I've upgraded televisions sure. over a period of time. Sometimes you move and you say, well, you know, this one was fine, but I could use a bigger one. And you have all these old TVs that are worth zero. Sure. A four-year-old TV that you bought four years mm -hmm. ago is worth zero. If you went to sell it, you'd be able to sell it for $25, maybe at a flea market. Mm -hmm. So now, since I don't believe you, I'm going to ask her the circumstances surrounding you bringing over the television set. Got it? Go. I actually did not ask her for the television set. We were very close friends at the time. Um, we had this thing where we made candy for shows we went to, which is like the beaded bracelets. She used to come over all the time because she was, I call her an almost functioning alcoholic, where she'd get off of work and have nowhere to go. So she'd come to my tiny house and get drunk there. She just came over one day with a TV in hand and a box of beads. 